हेलो एवरीवन आई एम आकाश एंड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो ऑन द चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू सम बेसिक कमांड्स ऑफ लिनक्स एंड आई एम यूजिंग काली नक्स फॉर दिस सो लेट्स ओपन द टर्मिनल So here we have our terminal. Okay. Okay. So now let's start with the commands real quick. So uh, first of all, let's start with uh, the updating and upgrading uh, your system. So for that, uh, you have to write apt get update. So this is going to get all the data for updating all the packages that you have installed. So to run this command, you have to uh, have the privileges for that. So as you can see here, it is saying that uh, I don't have the permission for running this command. So we are going to write sudo that is a super user do. And then we are going to again write this command apt get and update and then we have to write the password for uh, the user that we are logged in so i'm writing the password for that and it has started the updating so i'm not going to uh, update the packages so i'm going to just hit control c and it's going to just uh, block it and exit from it so now let's clear it so now after the packages are updated then after uh, to install those you have to write sudo apt get upgrade so sudo apt get upgrade and it is going to uh, ask you whether you want to install the packages and you just have to write yes so that those will be installed now i don't have space on my uh, disk so it is not going to install that so as of right now i'm running this kali linux on a virtual machine so i don't have that much space now let's clear it now let's go on to the next command so uh, these were uh, for the uh, updating and upgrading the system packages now uh, let's move on to how you can create a directory or a, we can say a folder into linux so for that you have to just write mkdir and the name of the directory so let's write demo now let me first open this file manager okay so this is the file manager so now i'm just going to keep it here now as you can see here that there is uh, no um a directory named demo so now let's run this command and as you can see here this directory named demo is now created now if uh, you don't want to open this uh, file manager every time and you just want to see all the files and directories then there is one command that is ls and it is going to list all the files and directories that there are in uh, that current directory which you are in so we are right now in the home directory so it is showing all these directories that are there in this directory so ls is the command so it is equivalent to dir command in windows so now we have uh, created the demo so if you want to remove this directory then rm dir and then the name of the directory and let's run ls and as you can see the directory is removed now clear the screen and now let's move on to creating a file so how you can create a file in linux so to create a file of uh, any uh, extension uh, then you can do that using touch command so touch and then write the name of the file that you want to create so here i'm going to name it abc and then dot whatever the extension that you want for this file so that is txt and run it and let's see 
so this is our file and this is how you can create it now if you want to remove that file then you can do that using rm just rm not rmdir rmdir is for removing directory just rm is for removing files so rm then abc and then just press tab uh, so the whole thing is going to be uh, completed automatically so enter and there you go the file that we created is now uh, no more there so now let's create that file again and we have it now uh, in linux if you want to uh, edit that file or if you want to add any content in that file then you can do that uh, here in the terminal itself without going on to any other uh, software or without opening any software or file manager you can do that right here from the terminal so to do that you just have to write uh, nano nano then space the name of the file dot txt and enter so this is going to open a gnu uh, editor that is default there and here you can write whatever you want uh, into uh, this uh, text file so i'm going to write hello world okay so hello world and now to exit from it and go back to there and also to save this you just have to uh, press control then x as you can see here that says to exit it so control then x and then after it is going to ask you if you want to say the modifications that you made to this file so you just have to press y here for yes you have to save the modifications and n for no you don't want to save the modifications and control c if you want to cancel this so i'm going to press y and it is again uh, going to show this uh, where the uh, things are going to written so that is the abc.txt so we want this only so i'm just going to press enter and that's it it is saved there so let's open file manager okay so this is our file let's open it and as you can see here this is the hello world so this is how uh, you can edit and create files in uh, linux so now let's clear this so now we know how to create folders and files now let's uh, get to know about how we can copy or move files and folders so now we have a file already now let's create a directory so mkdir and demo so now we have a file and a directory now let's copy this abc.txt file into this demo directory so to do that there's a simple command cp that means copy then what you want to copy that is we want to copy this abc.txt file and then where you want to copy so the destination where you want to copy this file that is demo press enter ls and as we have copied then this file is going to be as it is now let's open the file manager and let's see in the demo so this is our file abc.txt now uh, let's remove that file from here so now let's remove this file okay now uh, let's run the command to move a file from uh, one place to another so now for the same file we're going to run this command mv that is move then abc.txt and where we want to move it then that is demo so enter and ls so as you can see here this abc.txt is no more there as it is being deleted and it has been moved to this uh, demo folder okay so demo and here is our file 
now if you don't want to open uh, the file manager every time and navigate to the files and folders that you want then you can do that in the terminal as well of course so for that you have to write cd that is change the directory so right now we are uh, in the home directory and that also in the akash directory that i am going to show you right now so i'm going to just go here and then the computer so this is the root directory and we were in this home directory and in akash directory so we were here so now let's change that directory and let's go into this demo directory enter and as you can see here this is being added to this line so it uh, shows that we are in the demo directory then let's write ls and as you can see in this demo directory we just have this one file that is abc.txt now what if you want to go back uh, to the directory where you were so that is also simple so cd space double dot and you will be back onto the directory where you were so this is how you can navigate into uh, other directories so let's clear this so now we know how to copy files into folders and it is same for copying uh folders into folders so you can uh, use the same command cp and mv for doing that as well now let's move on to one uh, last thing so that is if you want to change the permissions of a file then you can do that using chmod so change the mode of the file that is you can change the mode of the file from read write and execute so there are three modes here so uh, here uh, let's go into cd demo and we have this file here so now as you can see i have used ls to list uh, this file so now if i use ls and dash l then it is going to show me some more details about this file so as you can see here this file is rw so that means read write and then read and then read so let me uh, show you what this means so let me open the file manager and go into this right click properties and then permissions so as you can see here what this shows so first permission is for the owner that means who has created this file so the owner has the read and write permission and as you can see here it says rw that means read and write and then the group so the group means uh, what group this file belongs to so it belongs to akash so it uh, only has the access for read only so it says r and then here for others it says read only as well so that means this so now if you want to change this then uh, we can do that using this ch mode command so let's cancel this and then ch mod so ch mod and then uh, we can write this uh, using the octal number so here the number goes from 0 to 7 so 0 being we are not providing any of the permission and 7 being the highest permissions that means read write and execute as well now uh, how we can specify this is there are uh, different uh, numbers set here for read write and execute so now for one there is the permission that is execute so now let's write 111 and then uh, the name of the file that is abc.txt and let's run this so as you can see here that means it's now an executable file so now let's change this to 222 and let's see so it is www so that means it's writable and there is 444 and that is readable so this is how you can use them so now not only you can write this as uh, i have shown here you can also 
add these numbers so if you write 333 then that means you have added these two so it is going to be a readable and an executable file so let me show you as you can see here w and x and if you combine all of the three then it is going to be 777 that means it is going to be read write and execute all of them and if you write uh, one of it as zero then that means uh, the permission for one is not uh, specified and that one is uh, the other so let me show you here so permissions and other as you can see there is no uh, access specified here but these two are being specified so this is how you can change a mode of the file in linux okay so one another thing before going so this is a new course on a uh, kali linux command line which you can learn from scratch so i have uh, here explained uh, some kali linux commands from basic to advanced so here as you can see this uh, the curriculum of uh, this course so these are all the things that i have taught in this course so uh, you can go on to this uh, udemy.com i'll give the link in the description down below and i also have a special discount for you all so you'll get a massive discount on this course if you write this uh, coupon code so that is kali underscore 360 and apply it and you're going to uh, get this 86% uh, off on this course so you'll get this course just for uh, 360 so go on to udemy.com and check out this course so i hope you like this video if you did then click on that thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then click on that red subscribe button down below and uh, subscribe to this channel and that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one